Hi Simon, Phil Bieber here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson the other day. We can see here takeaway's pretty good. It just goes a fractionally underneath that right forearm there at that stage. We look at Noren at that similar stage there. You'll see that his club head is a little bit more out in front. And when he does set it, it goes a little bit under. But you can see the shaft plane is just fractionally steeper than yours. So something we'll keep an eye on for you. Top of the swing, beautiful. I mean, that left arm there, club, is absolutely tickety-boo. I really like that. If we look at you and Norrin at that same stage, very, very good. Left arm plane's great. Right elbow's good. Right leg straightening, which I like. Uh, you do carry that on a little bit, and we can see that there. It just gets a little bit longer. But I've picked Norrin because he does the same. He gets a little bit too long as well. This is where things just change slightly. So as Alex's hands work down this way, the shaft is going to work flatter that way so as we look at Norrin now as he starts down you'll see that them hands are sort of moving towards the ball but the shaft plane is really flattening as his hands get halfway in the middle of his chest if we look at yours Simon as you start down that sh hands are doing the right thing unfortunately but the shaft is just for me fractionally too steep and we can see that there you know that's there in very different lines there if we draw a line perfectly on your club it's pretty much just above the ball where we look at Norrin's it's miles above the ball so it makes a big difference so when we come down for you you can see here you when I call that in the slot when your left arm's parallel to the floor your club is cutting through sort of your right shoulder uh, where Alex's will cut through his right forearm again you can see that perfectly there look at that there through that line and that just means he's going to attack the ball from the inside so we keep an eye on Alex's club head it cuts through the forearm, pulls in front, but it's always down here to the left of the golf ball. Okay, always, and then make great contact, and then his hands work sort of left and across. Where with yours, Simon, if we look at yours, you're going to see your club head, it gets delivered to the right of the ball there. Um, and that, that's where we're just finding a few in, indiscrepancies. And that's where that pull comes from. Because if you now rotate the body, which you're supposed to, that club's going to be looking at the ball close and you're going to hit little strong pulls. And that's why when you started on the lesson, you was hitting it absolutely miles, but they were going left. Uh, and as we started to straighten you up, you lost a bit of power, but that's normal. Uh, purely the fact that the club's more aligned. So you do need to think, right, I just want to feel, you know, as you're turning that left shoulder more, so you're turning that left shoulder behind you and on the way, you know, as a, on the way down, Simon, so the transition. I just want to see that club flatten more. You know, use the Noren drill, look at um, like rows, like you said. But you're just trying to feel that that shaft just flattens a little bit more each time as it comes down. And even if you feel like you have to drop the club head down behind you to achieve that, we, uh, we'll get some much better results with the club head attacking the ball from the inside and then we can turn over it. The body's still a little bit static on this particular one, but in general it's a lot better. Uh, but keep working on that and uh, we'll see some big results. Thanks, Simon.